We already talked about the Barbie trailer where another trailer has come out today. This one I am significantly more excited about. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is one of my single most pleasant surprise movies I think I, I've ever, maybe I've ever seen. And I say surprise in the context of the fact that I thought this movie was going to be shite. I thought Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was going to be crap. I did not like the animation style from the trailers that I saw. I did not think the trailers were particularly good. I, I started to warm up a little bit in the latter trailers, but when the first couple of trailers, I did not warm up of it. I was not down. I didn't think, look, everybody loves the Peter Parker Spider-Man. Let's just do Peter Parker Spider-Man. I didn't know people wanted to see him as somebody else in the spider suit, all that kind of stuff. And then I walked in and this is why I always tell people when you go into the movie theater, before you go through that threshold of the door, take your preconceived expectations and leave them at the door and then just go in and watch it because I was so negative on this franchise. My God, I walked out just in love with it. It's one of my favorite comic book movies of all time. I love that movie. And of course, now with the sequel on its way, last year at CinemaCon, they showed us like 15 minutes of it. And even though a lot of the animation wasn't done, some of it was straight up pencil sketch. It was still unbelievable. It was still thrilling and still had this beautiful style to it that I have come to appreciate. And all this kind of stuff is just amazing. Well, they dropped the new trailer for it today. And wow. It, it, again, it's just, I, I didn't realize how much I have missed Miles and Gwen until we see him looking at her and she goes, you want to get out of here? I mean, which we've seen in something else before in another piece of promo, but just seeing it in that context. And then when Peter walks in and- With Mayday. Oh, oh, it was so cute. I, And then of course you get Spider-Man 29.9, which they of course uh, foreshadowed back in the first film and all that kind of stuff. And you know what's funny, though? I was doing open mic yesterday, and somebody asked me, they said, what do you think it is Miles does that gets all the Spider-Men mad at him in the Spider-Verse? And I said on the show yesterday, he said, I don't know, but you know what I think it's probably going to be? It's going to be one of those things where it's like, oh, you got to make a choice to either save one random per like one person or... But if you save one person, you're putting everything at risk. I said, it's probably going to be something like that because that's what they did in Spider-Man No Way Home. And the trailer came out this morning. You can either save one person or save the multiverse. I can do both. Anyway, I I love this trailer. I'm. It's hard for me to put into words just how excited I am for this movie. And when does it come out? I don't. I'm not even keeping track of the release date. But it's got to be coming out uh, this summer, I believe. I'm not Isn't completely okay? sure. What do we got? Um... I'm trying to see because I remember the old date. I think it's June now, June second. I think June second. All right, I I'm just beside myself here. So I absolutely love this trailer. Anyway, Chris, you had a chance to see the trailer for Across the Spider Verse. What did you think about it? I'm so excited about it. Oh, when Mayday Parker shows up, little toddler Mayday. I oh. lost my mind. I was so excited. I love Peter B. Parker. I think he's just wonderful. Um, this looks fantastic. The stuff we got to see at CinemaCon was so beautiful, even though it wasn't complete. And so to see so much of it come to fruition was great. That little snippet where we got to see bombastic bag man in there <laughs> hell yes i'm so excited for all these different spider mens uh i think it's going to be a really really fun ride and lord and miller really just deliver they do such exquisite work no matter what medium they're working in and they've always championed animation in such a beautiful beautiful way of how this is cinema and this is really really wonderful work and you can see it every single panel of this is pure art it's beautiful i can't wait for this now it should be pointed out though just, just to be clear that Lord and Miller are not directing this film. They're still associated with they're, it. Though. Yeah, they're yeah. still producing it. Yeah, they're still the producers on it. It's being directed by uh, Joaquin Dos, uh, Dos Santos, uh, Kemp Powers, and Justice K. Thompson. So three directors in there. Mm -hmm. But Phil they Lord and that. Christopher Miller did write the script, and they mm -hmm. are producing. And it was funny because last year at CinemaCon, they, they actually came out on stage to talk about a little bit. But they said, this movie is like, packed with surprises is one of the things they told us last year i'm still there's there's no indication that this is happening i'm still kind of holding out hope they're going to show us the movie at CinemaCon. now I, again there's been no indication that they are but with the huge presentation they did last year i i wonder if they might have a little surprise screening up there 
sleep. I, I doubt it. I mean, it's probably not, but I'm going to hold out hope. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What did you think about the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse trailer? I absolutely loved it. I cannot wait to see this one. Maybe you're not even a fan of the franchise. Maybe you didn't like the first one. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. And there's no worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen. HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps. You'll be feeling like Gordon frickin' Ramsay in no time. And guys, look, we're always looking for more ways to save money. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. I've told you guys before, Anne and I love using HelloFresh. Not only is it really easy to put together fantastic looking and tasty meals, but it's also a lot of fun and you get this really great sense of accomplishment when you're looking at this prepared dish that you've made with your own hands. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia50 and use the code Campia50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. That's HelloFresh.com slash Campia50 and using the promo code Campia50 for 50% off your first box ships free. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit.